There are two great free governments in the world that will continue the fight against totalitarian government governed by dictator. Those governments are the United States of America and the State of Israel. Those two governments stand for the belief that governments are organized for the benefit of the people whom they serve. The totalitarian or dictator governments believe that the people are to be exploited by the dictator. They believe the dictator's whim is all that counts in government. We have achieved our unity in this great republic of ours not by eliminating our differences in religion and tradition, not by hiding or suppressing our political and economic conflicts, but by holding to a concept which rises above all of them, the concept of the brotherhood of man. All great religions, whatever their differences, acknowledge this belief in God as the father and creator of mankind. For us, therefore, brotherhood is not only a generous impulse, but also a divine command. We acknowledge brotherhood as a religious duty. All the faiths, Protestant, Catholic, Jewish, in this great country claim as a common heritage the great thoughts of the Hebrew prophets. The prophets were among the first men who saw the concept of the fatherhood of God required that men do justice to one another. They call on the people of their day, just as they call on us today, not only to recognize the humanity of others, but also to work unceasingly for the achievement of great justice in human relations. It has never seemed to me that I deserved any special credit as an individual for what I did about Israel when I was president of the United States. In recognizing the new state of Israel and in giving careful consideration to the needs and problems of after 1948, I believe I was only expressing the sentiments of the people of the United States regardless of political party or religious belief. And I also believe I was acting as president of the United States ought to act, that is, in the interest of the United States of America. There was something deeply moving and deeply stirring to every American in the creation of the new state of Israel in the ancient land of Palestine. Here was a country founded on the love of human freedom, just as our own country was based on the ideal of freedom. Here was a country designed to be a haven for the oppressed and persecuted of the earth, just as our own country has been. Here in the land of Moses and the prophets was a rebirth of a nation dedicated as of old to the moral law and to a belief in God. The first step of every enemy of this country has always been to attempt separate and different strands, uh, to attempt to separate the separate uh, different strands of faith and belief out of which this nation has been woven. Our enemies have tried to set group against group, faith against faith, to create prejudice and to spread hate and distrust among our people. In the history of the world, there have been some movements inspired by a desire for greater justice among men, which have denied or forgotten the religious foundation of those ideals. Sooner or later, these movements have wavered and lost their way. They've become self-centered. They've been set up on their own interests as the only standard of right and wrong, and they have degenerated from movements of liberation into movements of tyranny and oppression. All the great religions represented in this country, whatever their differences, acknowledge this belief in God as the father and creator of mankind. Those of us who really believe in God, therefore, can never be content to live for ourselves alone. We must always be working to eliminate injustice, and to create a society which carries out our ideals. We must strive abroad as well as at home to defend human rights and to expand the enjoyment of freedom. We've taken a firm stand in the councils of the United Nations against the violation of human rights. The task of achieving greater justice and freedom is long and difficult. The belief on which we have founded our form of government and our hope of a better world are under attack. In various parts of the world today, human rights and freedom are being deliberately violated and suppressed. Men and women are being systematically persecuted for their religious and political beliefs. Campaigns are being waged to turn religion and government 
into twos of the state. Now, that must not happen. This great organization is striving for the ideals at home and abroad, and I know that someday they will be achieved. Until that day, we must keep praying and fighting for the right. זכור את אשר עשה לך מה עמלק נצטווינו. אנו זוכרים ואנו נלחמים. It's an entire nation out there that is responsible. It's not true, this rhetoric about civilians not, we're not aware, not involved, it's absolutely not true. אין חשמל, אין מזון, אין מים, אין דלק. הכל סגור. אנחנו נלחמים בחיות אדם, ואנחנו נוהגים בהתאם. Very puzzled by the constant uh, concern which the world is showing for the Palestinian people and is actually showing for these horrible, inhuman animals who have done the worst atrocities that this century has seen. <laughs> إسرائيل فرضت إغلاق كامل على غزة هناك إسرائيليون يعني وصفوا الفلسطينيين في غزة وصفوهم بأنهم حيوانات بل أقل من حيوانات أنا أنا لا أسويهم بالحيوانات لأن هذا تحكير للحيوانات هذا رأيك دكتور مردخاي نعم هذا غاية تكسخوتهم كما شيوتير شلو لشي مهم زيخر שלא לא הם, לא אימא שלהם, לא הילדה שלהם, לא התינוקות שלהם. אסור להם לחיות בחיות האלה. אתה, יש לך שני שכן ערבי, אתה לא תחכה שהוא יבוא אליך הביתה. תיכנס אליו, אליו הביתה ותירא. תראה, לצורך ה... לא, אתה חושב שאנחנו יכולים להרוג מאות אלפי פלסטינים ברצועת עזה והדבר הזה יעבור? תראה, עכשיו בתקשורת הזרה יוצאת הודעה בשם ישראל שמיליון פלסטינים כבר ירדו מדרום הרצועה דרומה, וכל מי שנשאר שם נחשב כמחבל. עזה הופכת לדרזדן, כן. ארץ שלנו. כל הארץ! כל עזה! כל הלבנון! כל הארץ המוזרחת! אנחנו עוברים אל עזה! אנחנו עוברים אל עזה! אנחנו עוברים אל עזה!